How did they turn it on? The the reactor? Yeah. The reactor can be turned on or turned off in a lot of different ways. Um, the way Barry showed me, it, the hemisphere is removed. There's a small tower in the middle. When you put the hemisphere on, the reactor activates. The reactor shuts down. It's, it's load sensing. So if there's, if there's no load on the reactor at all, it shuts down. When there's a, a load present on it, it starts up again. Load meaning? Uh, y- you can consider it an electrical load. So although it doesn't ne- necessarily operate electrically, there's no wiring that connects any of the subcomponents together whatsoever. They just have to be in the immediate vicinity. It's, uh, it is, b- the stuff is borderline magic. And that's essentially where we left it, you know, when I left the project. So there was no progress made? There was some progress. I mean, we did identify, at least we think, some processes and and had a rough idea, we think, of what was going on. But um, I think this is a problem that they've had for a long time. And, um, you know, the, I was replacing somebody that Barry worked with prior to me. And I think there was some horrific accident that I didn't have a whole lot of information on. But, you know, Barry alluded to that. A horrific accident, like where someone died? or Yeah, where somebody died. Because they were trying to tamper with things or figure out how something worked? Yeah, the reactor in particular. But yet he let you touch it. Yeah, I think what they were trying to do was cut into one. Oh, now, they had, they had more than one there. And it, that was supposedly there was an unannounced nuclear test. And that's what it was. At the time, remember, they were still doing underground nuclear tests at the test site. Um, but from what I understand, according to Barry... There was an attempt made. Now, this must have been a pretty desperate attempt because it's not a very scientific process to cut, you know, analyze something that way. But it looked like they used a plasma cutter or something like that to cut into an, ex- an operating reactor. How many of these things did they have? They had nine, nine craft altogether. I only got hands-on with one of them, so I can't really say what the, uh, how the others operated. Did but you see the other ones? Yeah. At one time, and only one time, the bay doors that between the hangars were all open, and I could see all the way through. And were they all exactly the same? No, they were all different. Different shapes? Yeah. But they were all from somewhere else? Yeah, absolutely. 